a kid, I was sure I could run across the ocean. That I was gonna be an astronaut. But it was you and it was me. I had everything I needed. Faith could even move a mountain top. And then I grew up, and then I got older, and my life got tough, and we grew apart. My name is Adriana. I'm from um, the Gainesville area from Florida. Um, I am 20 and this is my second time in Guatemala. Today our medical mission, I'm a CNA and I'm actually going into nursing school so that's like my heart and I love taking care of people so um, being able to be a part of that is awesome. Um, it was you, it was me, I had everything I needed. Your hands were big enough to hold the world. My name is Cheryl, and this is my first mission trip that I've been on. My children have been on many mission trips uh, in the summer with our youth group. Now they're in college and one has graduated. Uh, I really felt called that it's not only my turn, but uh, I wanted to learn more about the work. I didn't know I, if I could keep up with it because there's a lot of younger people but um, I'm holding my own yeah <laughs> you know I don't speak Spanish but everyone there's this language of hugging and eye contact and whatnot I share pictures of my niños and niñas so <laughs> I'm seeing God's love at work here more and then I got older then my life got tough and we grew Okay, my name is Mark Hunter. Um, I live in Tampa, Florida. I'm originally from South Africa. Um, I've never been on a mission trip before and I'm very excited to be here. I think I wanted to get closer to God and I wanted to rediscover my relationship with Him and I think that was important and that was why I wanted to be here. I think what's been very cool is just working together with like-minded, God-fearing people and just uh, being amongst the, the crowd that's here, it's been a good experience and a humbling experience. My name is Carlos, um, I'm from Florida, and I've never been on a mission trip before. What made me want to come on this mission trip is um, I just needed to be a little closer with God and um, just help myself by helping other people. And I think what I didn't expect as much was how close you can really become to everyone on your team. I think one of the best experiences or something that's the most impactful was um, during VBS or now, um, during our medical day, um, helping the, the people with spelling. Because sometimes when you think of writing, you think of maybe helping a younger kid. But when you get to help a mother and her daughter learn how to spell their name, I think that's really just a, like a learning experience, not only for you to count your blessings a little more, but just to, just to see what it's like to live here. My name is Berlin. I'm from Plant City, and I'm 16. Everyone that I talk to about it, they just kept giving me all these like good stories about it and how it was like really great. And I was like, well, I gotta see what it's about. Every day, like at night or whatever, we do our nightly devotions, and they have like a lot of good messages. And one of the thing is, um, 
I waste a lot of time. Just, I just don't take opportunity when, like, most of the time when it's given to me. Yeah. And I learned that, like, it's really important to take those opportunities because you don't know where it'll take you and it can lead you to some pretty cool places. My name is Abby Ferrero and I'm 14 years old and I'm from Tampa, Florida and I've never been on a missions trip before. No, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. <laughs> <laughs> Something that has surprised me probably, like I didn't think that so many kids would show up for the VBS. Like when they were saying like VBS, I was thinking probably like 10 chairs and there's like this whole like pavilion pavilion like filled with people yeah. and like more people like standing out because we didn't even have enough room for them. God show me like how blessed I am because a lot of people don't have like the resources that I have. I've been working with the kids doing crafts this week during VBS and so I've been asking like what's your name so I could write them down on like the back of their crafts and um, I remember one person that I was working with doing crafts she asked a mother if like she could write her kid's name on the paper and she didn't know how to write so I just feel really blessed that like I have the opportunity for things and I just I wish we could like get that over here so they still like can have the right education as us. I think they should come on a missions trip so they can appreciate everything they have in life. I think they should come on a missions trip so they can appreciate everything they have in life because yes. you see how hard it is in other countries and you don't even have to go like out of the country to be on a mission trip you can just go outside your community, go to your neighbors, wherever you are, and then you can appreciate all the things that you have that other people might not have. I had everything I needed. Faith could even move a mountain top. And then I grew up, and then I got older, and my life got tough.